and then if that will you case. provide us with what are you yeah. hiding minister yeah. so uh, just relax so what do you hide to uh, mr uh, cooper for five go ahead uh, sir uh, thank you very much mr chair minister boissano when you last appeared before this committee this committee had text messages referencing a randy from september 8th you said the randy referenced in those text messages was not you and your office even put out a statement saying that you were in Vancouver and had no access to uh, ele electronic devices and that you had made no phone calls during the time frame in question on September 8th. Since you appeared before a committee, we now have a new tranche of text messages from September 6th that reference Randy in Vancouver. You, Randy, through you, Mr. Chair, we're in Vancouver, and now you tell the committee that you did talk to Anderson. You did text Anderson. You didn't say that before. You left this committee with the impression that you had no communications with Anderson. And now you say that? I would submit, Mr. Boissano, through you, Mr. Chair, that that is a material omission. It is a material misrepresentation. Why didn't you tell the full truth before, last time you appeared before the committee? Why are we only finding out about this now? Is it because you need a new cover story? Minister? Uh, I reject the ending of your question, Mr. Cooper, emphatically. Um, look, the testimony that I gave this committee in uh, when I was last here was about um, September 8th, and then after summer testimony, I proactively provided my text messages to the Commissioner of Ethics. And Mr. Cooper, I don't have data in my phone that indicates who I texted Minister, over two years ago. Minister, Mr. Chair, you, I get more time. You I, had a choice. I do believe I get you more time, You had a choice to come to this committee and Mr. be forthcoming. Uh, hang on, Mr. Cooper. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds to respond. Uh, members do have the right to reclaim their time as well, and I'm trying to be as fair as I can. Minister, please go ahead. <laughs> so, Mr. Cooper, in the morning of September 6th, as I indicated, I got a text message from Pure Later. I indicated that to Mr. Anderson. He called me. We had a one-minute phone call. You had a choice. I sent him the Mr. point of order, Mr. Chair. Mr. Mr. Cooper, you didn't do so. I'm going to Mr. Cooper. Go ahead, Mr. But I you have didn't a point do of order, so Mr. Chair. Very conveniently. Uh, hang on, hang on. Point of order, uh, Mr. Fisher. Um, as Mr. Green had uh, recommended, uh, order standing mm -hmm. order sixteen two, interrupting the witness. Okay. The uh, you know I look I, I listened to Mr. Green's. Uh, questioning and there were several times where he did reclaim his time in advance of the minister uh, responding and so I'm going to ask uh, that Mr. Cooper we we give ample time for the question I know you had a long preamble the question was there you have the floor sir go ahead ask your question Mr. Chair the minister had a choice to come here and be forthcoming he didn't do so he misrepresented this committee by omission and I've got to ask you you said you had nothing to do with the operations of GHI, and now you admit, in fact, you did. Uh, the paying of a bill, that is an operational matter. If you had nothing to do with GHI, why wouldn't you simply pick up the phone, call Purelater, tell them that you have nothing to do with the operations of the business, and for them to call Anderson? Why didn't you do that? Minister? That is a really great question, and the answer is I did three times. And it was a collections group of peer later that I never contacted that still somehow had my information from their database. So, Mr. Cooper, you, you could have, you could no, have, had Mr. Very, Cooper, mi, let mi, me finish. Mi, Mr. Boissano, why didn't you, at the very least, okay, just text him, say, contact peer later? Why did you then pick up the phone? Isn't the reason you picked up the phone because you wanted to talk about the half a million dollar shakedown? That's why you called Anderson, isn't no, it? Mr. Minister, go ahead, please. Not at all. That is simply false, Mr. Cooper. And as I've indicated before, I have nothing to deal with the Gowie Group. I have nothing to deal with um, all of those deals with you, Mr. You Anderson took place after I was an operational member of this company. And I did text Mr. Anderson. He responded to me by telephone. I indicated to him that this bill was there and he should take care of it because I didn't Mr. want Mr. Blossom, Mr. Blossom, go ahead. text Mr. messages Mr. from Mr. Blossom, no, no one believes you. And after you materially mis misled this committee by leaving out a material fact, you've lost any benefit 
of Badaut. Nine, you have yet to explain how there are nine text messages referencing Randy when the only Randy at, G at GHI ever was you. You had a 50% interest. You have a text message placing you in Vancouver. You were in Vancouver. You've now admitted that on that very day, you spoke and texted with none other than Anderson, which you didn't, weren't forthcoming about until you had now no choice because you want to cover your butt. And so, very simply, Minister Boissonneau, do you think Canadians are stupid? Everyone knows it's you. The Randy in the tax messages, the Randy in the half a million dollar shakedown is you, and you, sir, have lack the character and judgment to serve in cabinet if you had any intention point of order thank you point of order Cooper. point of order <clears throat> okay thank you uh, minister boston i'm going to give you some time uh, to to respond uh, quickly if you don't mind uh, sure, i will as, go quickly as quick as mr possible. cooper if the allegations that you just uh, threw at me were true the ethics commissioner would have seen in an exhaustive evaluation of all the text messages on all of the telephones that I have, on all platforms, that those text messages existed. They do not. I am not the Randy in question. The Thank ethics you. commissioner has said so, and he considers Thank this you. No one matter believes closed. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Baines, you have five minutes. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, uh, thank you, uh, Minister, for joining us uh, again. Um, uh, isn't this case closed? Mr. Um, Mr. Bates, that's certainly what the Commissioner of Ethics thinks and has stated in his letter to me um, that um, has been now reported in, in the media. Um, this matter is closed because not once, not twice, but three times now, I have shared exhaustive information with the Ethics Commissioner and with this committee indicating that I have followed the rules, starting back with my initial filings with the Commissioner, at proceeding then to when the story first broke, in global, and that is when I was asked to provide text information about September 8th, which I did, again, across all platforms and on all devices that, uh, that I have. And based on that, the commissioner said there was no need to have uh, further uh, examination of the matter. And then following summer testimony, we provided more text messages for 6th and 7th September to the commissioner, which the committee now has, and that is how the Commissioner has come to the third time indicating that there is no involvement in my operating of this company and that he considers the matter closed. Uh, but despite that, the, uh, we're still um, reviewing the matter. So how closed is it? Is it need to be, do we need to go back to the Commissioner again and do it a fourth time? I hope not. I'm, look, I'm always happy to uh, participate with um, questions from the Ethics Commissioner, but look, I'm here today to clarify matters, to share the information that I have, and I hope that this allows the Ethics Committee to get on with its very important business. I know you have important studies that you want to undertake, and I'm here because I take my oath um, as a minister seriously and my responsibilities under the Act seriously. And thank you for that. So uh, despite the matter being closed uh, three times and maybe... Uh, we're anticipating a fourth time for the matter to be closed. But um, I do have just a few questions here. Um, have you ever spoken to or met with anyone from the Gowie Group? No, I have not. And they acknowledge that themselves in media reports on the matter. Okay. And were you involved in any way with the business deal between Gowie or GHI? No, um, never in my time with GHI. Had uh, my time with GHI concluded uh, prior to Mr. Anderson's business deal with the Gowie Group, and I have had no contact uh, with the people in that group. And any messages shared between uh, Gowie Group uh, that have been reported on by G Global News? Did you send any of those messages? I did not, and I shared my text messages on all platforms and all devices with the Ethics Commissioner, and the Ethics Commissioner has indicated that I'm not the person in question. Have you had any role in the operations of GHI since you were elected in 2021? I have not. Have you been uh, kept up to date since being elected regarding who the employees of GHI are or who have, may have been hired 
quit active workforce, etc.? Uh, no, I haven't, and I'm not aware of GHI's new businesses or any uh, contracts they would have pursued or any legal activities. It would not be uh, appropriate or compliant with the Act to do so. I took um, my disclosure process seriously, and when I stopped being involved in the operations of GHI, I stopped being involved in the operations of GHI, and since that time, I have unilaterally um, surrendered my shares for no compensation. So you're not a shareholder of GHI. Did you receive any compensation for your shares uh, when you surrendered them? You just said you didn't. I did not receive any compensation, and uh, I'm, this might also answer one of Mr. Green's uh, questions. I also did not receive any dividends uh, from the company as a shareholder at any time. Have you ever met Carla Roddick, President of Canada Medical? I have not. Have you ever met Ian Stedman, Assistant Professor of Ethics and Governance at New York University? No, I have not. Have you ever met Curtis James, who ran a warehouse next door to GHI's warehouse? I have not. Have you ever been contacted by Edmonton Police Services related to GHI? No, I have not. Have you ever met Francesca LeBlonde? No, I have not. I do not know who that person is. Have you ever been involved in any business dealings with Francesca LeBlonde? Not at all. Okay, well, those are my questions. I consider this matter closed for the fourth time. Well, we, uh, we cert certainly appreciate that, Mr. Baines. Uh, I believe Mr. Barrett's going to start, and then we're going to go over to Mr. Brock. So uh, five minutes, Mr. Barrett. Go ahead, please, sir. I have an official document from the Government of Alberta dated March 28, 2020. It's two days before you incorporated Global Health Imports, officially in entering into business with Stephen Anderson. It shows Stephen Anderson listed seven vehicles as collateral, five 2019 Land Rovers and two 2019 Porsches, totaling about a million dollars. Yes or no, did you know about this? Not. So you're un you were unaware that your business partner posted seven high-end luxury vehicles as collateral. That's your story? I didn't review that as part of the filings of the company. It was his decision to put collateral. I didn't have any collateral up in, in my particular are you uh, currently pardon. driving any of the Land Rovers or Porsches? I am not. Okay. Well, I'm quite sure that no one believes you, other Randy. Mr. Chair, Mr. Brock. Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Barrett, uh, I'm going to I'm going to suggest I'm going to suggest that that was not appropriate. I'm going to go to Mr. Barrett. Thank you. Or Mr. Brock, go ahead. Minister, despite your best efforts, this story is not going away anytime soon. Uh, the cloud of suspicion will hang over you until the next election, after which time you'd be looking for a new job. Let's take a look at the facts. Galway Group knew of only one Randy, and that Randy was a minister of the Canadian right. government. That's yourself. At all material times prior to your election, you were in a 50-50 partnership with Anderson. During your time with the company, with Mr. Anderson, you, in fact, were the only person named Randy. Mr. Anderson, who you're now deeply disappointed about, although you didn't say that when you first testified, blatantly lied to the committee about lying to Canadians and lying to the press that there was some other Randy. He also promised this committee to provide us with details as to who the other Randy is. And surprise, surprise, Minister, he couldn't. Because by doing so, he would identify yourself. Then we now find out on September the 6th, you're in a text communication with Anderson. You're in a phone call with Anderson, despite you assuring us at committee the first time that you've had no communication with Mr. Anderson. Highly, highly suspicious, uh, Mr. Mr. Boissonneau. And furthermore, you know full well that this is indeed an operational issue that is banned by the ethics laws for any minister to engage in a management capacity or an operational capacity. You could have had a staffer reach out to, to Anderson. You could have simply told the courier company, I got nothing to do with the company, deal with Anderson, go pound salt, not my responsibility. You chose to take matters into your own hands, 
to deal directly with Mr. Anderson. Those are the uncontroverted facts. Now, you're also relying upon the fact that you exercised your due diligence with this committee and your due diligence with the Ethics Commissioner. I asked you specifically to provide us with details, all your text messages on all your devices. You failed to do that, Minister. You gave this committee only one set of records pertaining to one device. I was led to believe you told the Ethics Commissioner you had two devices. Again, the Ethics Commissioner is not an investigator. They don't have investigative powers like law enforcement. They can't obtain production orders on service providers to verify what you are saying. So the Ethics Commissioner has to take it on good faith that you're being honest. I've got some serious reservations about your honesty, as do Canadians. So, will you provide this committee with all text records on all your devices? And tell us how many devices you had in your possession in the fall of 2022. Mr. Chair, will you give me two and a half minutes to respond? We have to. Uh, There's move only on. one I think question. It was, I think it was a, a very simple question. Uh, Mr. Brock was commenting. It was a two and a half minute question. I, I realized there was a lot that, there. but it was a very simple question. I'm going to ask you to answer the question and then I'm going to go to Mr. Housefather. Uh, Mr. Mr. Brock, the information that you cited in your monologue was reviewed by the Ethics Commissioner. I'm not the Randy in question. It is not me. It's not possible for it to be me. That is in the Commissioner's letter of September 12th. He considers this matter closed. And look, I'm at the committee's disposal, and I provided the committee with information that it required of me. Minister, Minister, will you Mr. provide Brock. us with full Chair, information? That's time, then, if that's will you provide us with... What are you Chair. hiding, Minister? Chair. So, uh, just relax. So, what are you hiding? M Minister... I, I, I've never seen you do that to anyone no, I, else. No, because, because when I get you in my ear over here and I'm trying to listen to what's going on, then I can't focus on the uh, on the questioning, Ms. Khalid, okay? So, Minister, uh, I'm going to ask you, on behalf of Mr. Brock, you've been asked a very specific question about the devices. Are there any other devices that you can provide to the committee, sir? Uh, no, Mr. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, because I provided all text messages across all devices for the dates in question across all platforms as asked by the committee. Mr. Housefather for five minutes. Point go of ahead, order please. before we go to Mr. Housefather. On your Mr. point Chair. of order, go ahead. Um, telling a member to relax I think is inappropriate, sir, as a chair. I, I think I said right at the uh, onset, Mr. Fisher, and I appreciate the challenge, that it's difficult when there's cross-talk that's going Understood. on. And so Understood. I'm trying to listen to the conversation the that's relax. going on. And when I'm hearing it from this side, I can't focus on what the minister and Mr. Brock Understood. are talking about, okay? So Respectfully I said there. that right at the onset, and Respectfully. I was going to enforce it, and I did. On that same point of order, Chair? On the same point of <coughs> order. Go ahead, Ms. Khalid. I just respectfully like to ask you why is it that you only hear it from this side and never from any other I party? think I I think I did that the other day actually I think I heard it from the other day yeah, you might want to review the tapes Miss Khalid Mr. Point, on that if, point we were, of order, if we were going to start counting then uh, I would I think it, that the tally review the would, tapes would show. and you'll see how I acted the other day when I heard it coming from this side on on the point of order Mr. Barrett go ahead and uh, we've yeah, got to go to Mr. House uh, um, chair uh, I think that it's uh, un an unacceptable practice in any committee to have uh, member staff or house officer staff making audible interventions to uh, uh, over top of members of the committee or the chair of the committee or a witness of the committee. And so um, a uh, perhaps a gentle reminder to um, staff who are here from house officers from the government that um, if they're interested in intervening at this committee, they can put their name forward to appear as a witness or they can run for parliament. They're, they're not to yell over top of us. I've, uh, I've dealt with that issue before uh, a couple of times and that's a good reminder to all uh, staff that are here. Mr. Housefather, please go ahead for uh, five minutes.